Hello once again, Dynamic Family. My name is Dynamo, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back with part 14 of our Sekiro Shadows Die Twice playthrough. We had just left off where we had just acquired the Mortal Blade from the Divine Child sitting back over there. And we had to basically beat the... Uh, the screen folding monkeys, the way they were called. Uh, that was a bit of an annoying boss, and uh, probably not one of my favorites in this game so far, but it wasn't super bad. I think it was just kind of lackluster and not exactly the greatest boss fight I've ever seen, so. I'm not quite sure what we need to do next. I'm gonna go back to uh, Ashina Castle and speak to Lord Kuro about our next step. I know that he said one more thing, because he said talk to Lord Ichin, and then we have to get the Mortal Blade. After that, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, we're gonna go back, talk to him, see what he has to say, and then maybe he'll uh, point us in the right direction. But for now, that is pretty much where we are at for the current moment. So uh, yeah, without any further delay, let's get right back into the action. All right, so let's travel, Ashina Castle to here, the upper tower. Yeah, my memory isn't exactly the greatest. I know that there was, I think, one other thing we were supposed to do, but it does not appear to cross my mind at the moment. So maybe Lord Crow can fill us in. Uh, is he still in his room? He's still in this room over here. Yes. Oh, and he's reading. Wolf, that sword on your back, is it? It is the mortal blade. The sword that can kill those who cannot die. Yes, it was given to me by the Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters at Sempo Temple. The Divine Child of the Rejuvenating Waters? The monks at Sempo Temple abandoned the ways of their faith in pursuit of immortality. The result is those who have false dragon's heritage, known as the Divine Children of the Rejuvenating Waters. A false dragon's heritage. <sighs> I never would have thought. Wait, Divine Children? Yes. Many were created, but only one survived. Further proof of the corruption this power brings to man, the ties of immortality must be severed. Yes, my lord. Yeah, it's honestly kind of a scary thought to have all these kids who were kind of like, not really test subjects, but experimented on a little bit in terms of, you know, the immortality bit. And to have all of them but one survive. Just like... Actually, no. All of them die except for one. Sorry, my bad. Let's see what else he has to say, though. I see you've gathered some of the ingredients needed to create the aroma of the fountainhead. Keep That's right. That's what we need to do. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I think we asked about the flower already. Did we ask about the stone? A fragrant stone. A sacred village. All beneath Ashina. Beyond the bottom of the well, you awoke in. Near the Moonview Tower, there is a bottomless hole. Perhaps through that hole, you'll find whatever is beneath Ashina. But what did the text mean by throw oneself? I do not know. Hmm. I don't know either. See if you can think of a place. My lord. Ah, I meant to ask. Did you notice the lingering scent in the incense burner? No, there was a... The incense burner's burning right now? I didn't see it was burning. I did not. I see. Then I suggest you do so at some point. It is faint, yet it makes you feel as though there is still some of the aroma left. Or rather, the incense burner isn't burning right now. It apparently has the... The scent is still lingering. The burner smells faintly of sakura flowers. Hmm. I don't think I've picked any of that up yet, have I? I don't believe I've ever come across any sakura flowers in my entire time in this game, so I would not know where to look for one if I were trying to find it. Maybe... maybe Emino's? waiting for you. Any progress? Yes. I found some answers. The source of the dragon rot? is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. 
From those that have the dragon rod? I believe so. For those oh. who have the dragon rod, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. Oh, so that's what those are for. So anybody who has dragon rot, I just give them one of these, and then it should cure them. Well, let's let's read the description. See, uh, an item that is really dropped. Using it will slightly increase resurrected power, restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. Never mind. So you offer it to the. Yeah, you offer it to a uh, one of the sculptures, and then then that should cure people. I think I did that once, though. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not sure, but maybe I haven't. Uh, recovery charm. A dragon rot recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet at a sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with the dragon. That's why it didn't work. The last time, I didn't have the recovery charm. But with this, now it should work. Uh, the charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. Okay, alrighty. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Don't have any gourd seeds, do I? Nope. Goodbye. Dragon rot restoration. The recovery charm allows dragon rot sufferers to be healed from a sculptor's idol. A dragon blood droplet can be consumed to heal dragon rot from all those afflicted. Doing so will cause all rot essence to disappear, returning the chances of receiving unseen aid to the default value. Ah, okay. Well, let's try that right now, actually, now that we have it. Uh, is now unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. Consuming a Dragon's Blood Drop, it will restore uh, to health all those afflicted with Dragon Rot. Yes, of course. Dragon Rot Restoration. Yes! There we go. Sweet. Alright, so everybody should be good to go. I'm hoping. Pretty sure it worked. Alright, well, with that in mind, so now we need to go to... Let's see, Kuro said, the place where we were stuck at the bottom of the well. But there's a hole somewhere around there? Apparently there's a bottomless hole that I missed somewhere. So let's go see if we can't find that. But before we do, we're going to go back to the dilapidated temple. I want to see if maybe I can upgrade any of my prosthetics. Let's see if the sculptor's doing a little bit better while we're at it. It appears as though your old memories have been awakened. Yes, I saw the divine heir. <laughs> I see. I won't say any more, and neither should you. All that you saw was yours alone. Ask what the Buddha showed him? Uh, sure. Sculptor, what did that Buddha show you? Were you listening? Tell me. Flames. Flames. That is all I can see. It doesn't matter what offering I make. Flames spreading as far as the eye can see and consuming Ashina. That's... We're done here. Well, well, damn, bro. I just asked. Like, I know you're not really allowed to share it, but I was just asking, man. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can upgrade any of my stuff for the moment. I don't have any materials. Uh, actually, no, I don't have enough money. That's the reason. And I don't have any other tools I can use or get prosthetics. If you want more forms for that fang of yours, you'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. Will do. I don't know how many more tools I can get in this game. I'm presuming it's not very many left, because I have like, what, five right now? So, yeah, we'll see what else we can get. Also, is there any offerings in here? There's never an offering in this box. They tell me to check it, but there's never anything in it. That sword on your back. What is it? Oh, yeah. He's an infested. I could kill him if I wanted to. 
But do I want to? He gives me good practice. Nah, eh, fuck it, I'll tell him. Blade. What? It's real? You don't suppose you could use it to end this curse of mine? <sighs> but you're... But you give me good practice, man. I don't... I don't... I don't wanna. I would feel really bad if I did. But at the same time, it seems like he's kind of suffering from it. You know, there's not everybody who wants to just live forever, especially like to watch all your friends and shit like that die. Like, <sighs> you know what? I'll, I'll grant him his wish. Of course. Thank you. Mm. A man with your skill could grant a merciful death, couldn't you? Leave it to me. Splendid. I must give my thanks to Sekicho. I will prepare for the beyond. The next time you see me. I'll be ready. Uh... I will prepare for the beyond. The next time you see me, I'll be ready. Okay. Yeah, no, of course. I'll give him some time. This is something that every person should think about. Death is definitely not an easy thing to deal with. Alright, so, now that we have nothing we need to upgrade or anything like that, uh... Let me talk to him real quick, see if he's got anything for us. Hey there, friend. Still have some business with me? I can sell stuff, yeah? I can. Uh, tch, 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 hmm. What do we want to sell? Hmm. How many of these do I have? Five out of five? Okay. Uh, tch, I don't use this a whole lot. I could probably just sell all these, actually. Give me a good amount of money for it. Uh, meme of possession of wealth. Uh, will acquire more coin for a period of time. Higher chances of obtaining items. Changing spirit emblems. Acquire more resurrective power. Those I want to save. Uh, spirit emblems aren't the hardest thing to get in this game, so I think I'll just give all these out. Uh, I'll keep those. Whoops, sorry, my bad. And then what else do we got? Divine Confetti. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Made for driving away apparitions. A red lump. To, con to gain red eyes and reduce flinching from enemy attacks, but also prohibits the use of resurrection. That's good, but not in every situation. Ceramic shards, I never use. Those are literally the most pointless things in this game. Does not work the way it should. Uh, oil. Mm, I think I might keep those, actually. The Fistful of Ashes. I don't really use a whole lot. It gives me a lot of money for it. And then, in terms of the money... I don't think I ever use these. Like... Hmm. I don't really, like, know. I kind of want to sell these. Because it would give me a good amount of money if I did. You know what? Let's sell them all. It gives me a crap ton of money if I do. So now we got, like, 9,000 gold. Alright, so. Uh, purchase items. A gourd seed. I'm going to purchase that because I need one. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Does he have any? No, no scrap magnetite, no nothing. Uh, tch -tch -tch -tch. And I believe that's it. Until All right. Next time, friend. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go back to Emma real quick, actually. Sorry, I know, like I was supposed to go to the objective like a while ago, but I kind of want to see what I can do first before, like, going into the Divine Realm. Because I don't know how hard it's going to be, or if there's, like, certain items I'm going to need. So, I'm just kind of preparing myself a little bit. It seems the Sculptor's Dragon Rod has been cured. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please, give this to him. <laughs> what is it with everyone carrying sake with them? Like, is there something I'm missing? 
Everybody just likes drinking around here. I don't I don't know why. Like I get it. Drinking's cool, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. What is it? It's his favorite tea. I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. Alrighty. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Give Gord seed. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright, alright. Well, now we'll go back to the sculptor and give him some sake. Okay. Nope, not that. There we go. Yeah, everybody's just got, like, sake on hand. They're just like, oh, like, when the time presents itself, I'm gonna give you some sake. That way you can give it to someone else. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know why everybody just has it on them for, like, no reason. Oh, you're here. Need something? The divine heir. You saved him. That has nothing to do with me. It does. You have my thanks. Mm. The shadow in your eyes. It's become a shade lighter. What? No matter. So, you need something? I'm gonna give you a drink. I brought some tea. Mm. This tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father? Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, and we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first oh. version was a complete failure, didn't work at all, so he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? <sighs> so much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. All right, interesting conversation. With a mechanical barrel, so many possibilities. I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. Will do. Alright, now we're gonna go back to our little starting spot. See if we can't find that hole that Cora was talking about. Okay, so we need to go to Ashina Castle. No, not here actually. Uh oh wait no. I'm drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? Uh it was this one No. You stupid. God, which one was it? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Why is this so... Not this. What are you doing? Not that. What are you doing?! Oh my god. Why can I not remember which one it was? Here we go. This one. Sorry. Had to look for it for a bit. I was like, I know it's here. I just don't remember which one it was. And I had to go down just a little bit. Big brain time. Big brain times. Okay. Now we're good. Uh, so the hole should be somewhere around here. But he said it's over that way, yeah? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Well, let's go. Let's go back and see. Here. Hmm. 
Yeah, so apparently the hole is somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where, though. I don't suppose it's, like, underwater or anything here, is it? Oh! I never noticed this was... Oh, wow! Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, why did I do that? Scrap iron, yes please. The abandoned dungeon. Alright, alright. What was that? where I'm supposed to go <laughs> because I don't think I can beat this guy there's a sculptor's idol over there though you know what maybe this is where I am technically supposed to go but I don't I don't know dude especially because I know I cannot beat that guy Well, you know what? No, fuck it. Wait, hold on. Before I do that, I think I have a... I have an item for this. Uh, for terror buildup. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that this guy uses... Uses terror. That, that stuff floating around him is terror. Okay. I feel like I'm going to regret this, but... Uh, here we go. Let's go, motherfucker! Classifying agent, this. Yep, I knew it. It was fucking terror. God damn it. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Oh my god. This is probably a really bad idea. Yeah, you know what? I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do at all. Okay. Uh, how do I get back up? There should be a way I can do that. Ooh. Yes, I know. Is there no ledge or anything that I can get up? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh my god, this is not the greatest idea. God damn. Yeah, okay, that definitely was not what I was supposed to do. There's got to be like a certain item or something that I need in order to beat those guys. But for now, I'm just going to leave them alone. This actually goes back to the path. Hmm. Where does this go again? Ah, yes, it leads here. That's right. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that spot. 
to the reservoir. God. Yeah, so there's a way right down there. There we go. A bulging coin purse, all right. And there's a sculptor's idol right there. All right, let's see if this is the path we're supposed to go down. Hmm. Oh, who's this? Will you be cast out or throw yourself in? What? If you wish to go to the very depths of Ashina, then you'd best cast yourself out. Over there. The depths of Ashina are over there. Hmm. Alright, so this is the hole we need to throw ourselves into. Throw ourselves. Um, I don't know if there's a certain trick to this or if we just blindly jump into the hole. I don't know. Seems pretty sketchy to me. Well, we're never really gonna know until we try, so... YOLO! Uh, please don't die! Ho! Oh. I made it. I, I made it, yes. I, I think I did, okay. Yeats. Okay. Uh, alrighty. I cannot see shit in here. Um, where the fuck am I supposed to go from here? Let's see what other people did. Um, that's not helpful at all. What is this guy doing? My guy, just show me where you went. That was the most unhelpful thing you could have possibly done. Okay. Uh... Ooh. Nope. Nope. All right. So that's a no-go. Uh, okay. Let's go back up the... Oh, here we go. Is this where we're supposed to go? Oh, little path down here. Nothing here. There was something up there I could go to, though. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, hello. Yeah, these guys can't die. Or rather, I have to kill him twice, but, you know, I'm not gonna waste my effort on him. Uh, whoop. Ow. That's flying agent. Look at that. And our next sculpture's idol. Actually, well, no, I'm gonna rest. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, no, I did not know that we needed to use our <laughs> prosthetic tool to, like, help us from falling. Good thing I did that just in time, or saw it, rather. The Ashina Adepts. It looks like we're in the right place. Why does this place automatically remind me of Blighttown? Look at that! That looks like a full-on river of poison. I hope it's not. I don't want this to be like Blighttown. At all. I mean, Blighttown wasn't all that hard, but <laughs> apparently it was for most people. Okay, so now that we're down here, we're just gonna explore a bit and see what we can find. Because I'm not sure what exactly we're looking for. Hello? There we go. Oh, oh shit, oh, 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 he can see me? Yes, he can, okay. 
it. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, God. It is a river of poison. I fucking knew. Can I get some time to establish myself? Holy shit, bro. Of course there's a boss here, because why wouldn't there be? Yellow gunpowder, sweet. Uh, okay. We are going to go into our inventory, take this away, and put on antidote powder. It's definitely going to need it. There's a shotgunner dude. I'm not going to engage him just yet. I'm going to wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. Ah, it's another one of these guys. Damn it. Well, I mean, actually... I do have some experience fighting or so. How... How are you hitting me? What the fuck? How is she hitting me from up there? I'm literally standing on top of her. Um... That was bullshit? What the fuck? Like her attacks just clipped right through the, the building she was sitting in. That was really dumb. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my... One hit? Really? Bro, holy shit, dude. Stuck by poison, asshole. Alright, so she's there. She's gonna be coming after me. There we go. Yeah, there's one guy right there. I need to take him out from up top. There we go. Alright. I see two guys over there. Whoa. This is gonna be interesting. Ha! Got him! Woohoo! Alright, now all your guys are dead. Excuse me. Let me fucking execute, asshole. Magnetite, sweet. Oh, she missed. again. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Definitely gonna need it. All your tricks, old lady. It's not gonna work on me a second time. You got lucky with those last few shots. Ah, she got me with that one. It's all good, though. We're good.
How did she get me with that? Bruh, what the fuck? It's alright, we still got one more. There we go. Fuck you. Boom. Got him. Whew. Jesus. That was annoying. Well, good thing I fought in her before. I learned her attacks a little bit. Enough to the point where I didn't completely get shit on. I mean, I got shit on from a distance once, but she got lucky with those last few ones. All right. Thank you. All right. What else we got up here? Some oil. Oh, I saw an item over there. Hold on, I'll get in a minute. As soon as I get this. Let's go to Zidal. I'm not gonna rest at it because that's gonna spawn all the enemies again and I'm not dealing with that. Whoop! Up. Oh, there we go. There we go. And go up here. Sweet. Oh, there's an item down there that I didn't get yet. One with these. There's a lot of scrap magnetite down here. I love it. All right, go, 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 go. Heavy coin purse, sweet. Get out of this poison. Okay, how do I get up there? I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe if I jump over here. Nope. Never mind. Uh... I don't see another way to get up there. Hmm. It's gotta be like a leap of faith, right? Nope. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Just fuck that item. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Let's just move on. Uh, I can't get up there. There might be another way around that. Alright, but we do have four prayer beads. Sweet. And we're gonna rest. And be careful of the enemies that are here again, but we are fine. Oops. Yeah, we're good. Past him, because there was an area over here. Alright, we're good. Blood? I don't like blood being down here. Oh, this is a boss area for sure. I don't like the looks of this. What is going on down here? Hello. Oh, that's just the water. Holy shit. That scared me for a minute. This looks like a boss area. I don't know why there wasn't anything that showed up here. Beats me. You know what? I'm just going to move past it. Be glad that we don't have to deal with anything. Where are we now? Uh, another dimension, apparently. Where the hell did we end up? I am very confused. <gasps> what are these? Little glowing bugs. So pretty. 
Alright, well, we've ended up in a new area. I'm not exactly sure if this is where we're supposed to be going. But it doesn't hurt that we can... Oh, chicken! Or rooster, rather. Huzzah. We have a balloon of soul. I didn't mean to use that. I meant to use this. There we go. Why do I hear voices? Are there enemies below me? I can hear their voices and I can hear their steps. It's very strange. Hmm. Oh. Can I get up here, please? Thank you. Sorry, Rooster. You're in my way. More pellets. Ah! I wanted to go up there. Rude. Alright, what is talking down here? Uh, oh. There's a guy. What the fuck? It looks like a spirit, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Whew, that scared me. Alright. Where? 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 What in the hell is this place, man? Like these spirit guys down here. There's a ton of them. There's one right there, one over there, another one over here, and one over here. What the fuck is going on? Ugh, ceramic shards, don't need those. I don't know what these guys are all about, but they're fairly easy. They give me a lot of materials, though. Probably one of the. Please, no. Why is there another headless here? Yep, run, 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 run. Or rather, walk as fast as you can. That's great. Oh, we love that. Mm hmm. We love headless. Okay, but you know what? I think it's not impossible to beat this one, actually. Considering... Considering... That I am... I do have a lot of height advantage on him. What a weird way of attacking. Oh! Holy shit, dude! Bro! What the fuck, man? Excuse me, rude ass. Ha! Bro. Oh, okay. Never mind. He completely kicked my ass. <laughs> I did not know that he could teleport. That's very interesting. I don't know if there's like a way to kill those guys. Also, I was about to hit this dude. Hey. Hey, you. 
If you know the path of Buddha, would you slay one who opposes it? One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. <coughs> the one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog so that he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <coughs> the door may be closed, but there should be a hole in the second floor. Uh, yeah, all right. A guy who's fooling some town people, huh? That's very rude. Ow, excuse me. Annoying ass rooster. Alright. Hmm. This is a lot of fog. Nothing I can't handle. And there's more of these spirit guys here. Hear dogs. I'm not sure if they're living or not, but oh, they are not. They are spirit dogs, just like these guys. Ow. Okay. Whoa. Let me get my bearings before anything else. Some dog. Ow. Got him that time. There we go. Alright, there was an archer up here somewhere. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Oh, never mind. Oh, there is. I fucking knew it. Can I get up here? I cannot. Nope. Alright. Just gonna have to do this from a distance then. There you are. Okay, ambush averted. Hello? Surprise. Contact medicine, bite down, and a light corn purse. Cool. Where's the dog? Where is he? Where is he? There you are. And I see another guy up there somewhere. Here he is. God, this place is so weird. What am I even looking for? In terms of, like, the item that allows us to go into the divine realm that's here. I have no... No fucking clue. I don't know how he didn't hear me kill that other dude, but all right. There's a lot of these dudes around here, but they are not all that hard. Too easy. Alright, any more? I want to clear this area out. There's a 
dead body up here, or that is, I thought that was a dead body, but no, it's not. Oh, holy shit, hello. There we go. Alright. Now we should be good to go. I'm assuming I enter through here. Oh wait, no, there's a... They said there was an entrance uh, underneath the temple. Alright, so... Where would we go for that? Down here, I'm guessing. Spirit emblems. Ah, motherfucking dogs! Enough. Alright, so how do I get into this temple? The guy said that there was a hole underneath it, but I'm not seeing an entrance or anything. Maybe I need to go up top? Hmm. Question is, is there a ledge or anything that I can use to get up there? Oh, there is. my imagination. There we go. Uh, is there another one? How the fuck do I get up there? I have no idea. There's no ledge or anything that I can use to... Oh, here's where I go. Sorry, I was looking for like the longest time as to where the hell to enter this temple at, and apparently there's this little side thing right here. Um, I'm not sure where this leads, there's like a little item up top here, so I'm gonna see what that is first. This. Hey, another snap seed. Sweet. Uh, that just leads back into this area that I was at. Alright, so I'm guessing the other way goes to the temple. Yeah, I was running around because there's that little... If you see that branch over there... I, you can't see me pointing to it, but it's like right over there. It's right next to the temple. And it says you can grapple onto that, but there's no other grapple points after that. And I'm like, where do I go from here? Oh. Ow. Oh, shit, dude. Monkeys? A lot of them. With swords. Oh, they got so And they got helmets. What the fuck? Tokujiro the Glutton. Oh, hello. Fucking monkey. Holy shit. Oh, it's just like the drunkard dude. I don't remember whose moveset a whole bunch. Ooh. There we go. There's one.
now. Woo! Ah! I almost got him though. There we go. Whew. Unrefined sake and another prayer bead. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I know his attacks were like really, really slow, so it's not the hardest thing to beat him. Uh, gonna go up here real quick. I have like no more health left, and I have. Not a whole bunch of healing items. I do have some pellets. Use. Sweet. Uh, ooh. Can I not get back up there? Oh, no. I have to go this way. That way. There we go. And go up here. Uh. Oh, no. Here we go. There we are. Lump of fat wax. Sweet. This is where we're supposed to go. Okay, yeah. That little branch over there. Yeah, you see it? That one? Yeah, fuck you. Super annoying. Okay, let's be sure not to fall because I don't want to go all the way back up here again. Alright, so he said the hole was somewhere in the second floor. I... Don't see a hole. Um, ch 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 oh, here we go. It was a little bit dark to see. Oh, it's a boss. Uh, he's looking a little weird. Not quite sure what he's about. Hmm. I'm gonna get my health up real quick before fighting him because I don't know his move set. And then we're gonna use one of these. Alright, hopefully we don't fuck this up. There we go. Mist Noble. That's it? Really? Um, okay, I, I take it back. That was the worst boss in the game. That, that's, that's pinwheel. That was literally pinwheel. It took me, what, not even four or five hits to kill him? Oh, alrighty then. Okay. Uh, lump of grave wax. A lump of fatty wax that had formed inside the body and turned pitch black. Used for occultic prosthetic tool. Upgrades for an advanced nature. A long-suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the site of an extracted growth. Alrighty. Yeah, dude, what the hell? That was the easiest boss ever. That was so disappointing. This dude put up no resistance. Alrighty then. Okay. Well... I guess that's the end of that. Ya Yasha 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 Riku sugar. Sorry. Uh sugar candy made in Senpu Temple sustaining Yasha Yasha Riku's blessing halves max vitality and posture. Oh. While granting a large attack power boost. Bite the candy and take the Yasha Riku stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Forbidden at the temple, this candy was distributed far and wide in exchange for donations towards costly undying research. Alrighty then. So yeah, that's like if you want to have all the attack power, but you leave yourself a lot more vulnerable. Okay then. Well, that's the end of our little escapade in this region. That guy was such a pushover but oh well i guess and i'm not exactly sure if we got the item we needed if the the wax was the thing that we needed okay well i guess that is the end of that that was very 
interesting to say the least. Fairly underwhelming, but I mean, I'm, I guess we got what we came for with the that wax that we just got, but who really knows, so. And I think this is actually a good place to stop it for now. Um, we're running at about an hour and eight minutes right now. Part of this is going to be cut because I was literally walking around forever trying to figure out how to get into this temple in the first place when that little side area was like sitting there all along and I didn't see it. So yeah, we're going to just cut it for here for now and then we will pick this back up next time. Well, thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out and I would greatly appreciate any support. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. I hope that whoever is watching has a fantastic rest of your day. And to always remember, don't be constant, be dynamic, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.